Welcome back. Interest in homeschooling is spiking as pandemic wary parents look for an alternative to sending their kids back to school. But this decision to homeschool is a monumental one. And as our next guest will explain, it comes with its own set of requirements and legal parameters. Ed Herman is with the law firm Brown and Croup and taking it outside today, Ed. I like it. I am. I'm coming to you from Faust Park, uh, which is right near the house. But it was early in the morning and the weather looked perfect and I felt like a little fresh air. It is beautiful. Well, in the interest of full disclosure, I don't even know if Ed knows this, but at least for the people at home, uh, in my household, we are beginning year seven of homeschooling, by the way, and it's worked wow. out very well for us. It's not a great fit for everyone. Question number one that my wife gets asked all the time, Ed, do parents have to register with anybody if they want to homeschool the kids? Well, you don't have to register. In other words, you don't have to demonstrate that you have any particular expertise in teaching. You don't need any kind of certification, but you do have to let the schools know that you're basically registering this, uh, your children for homeschooling. Not actually the schools, but you have to let the states know. So in Illinois, for example, and I think we'll post the link, there's a, a, a form to fill out to let people know that you'll be homeschooling. Missouri has an equivalent. I know that we're gonna post a link for the city. I'm sure the county has something as well, but so you do have to let them know. Otherwise, you may find yourself guilty of uh, truancy, which I haven't heard of truancy since the Little Rascals show, <laughs> yeah, but apparently you. it's still a thing. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. Yeah. So talk well, to us a little generation. bit. Talk to us a little bit about the requirements in Missouri and Illinois when it comes to what what you have to teach and what records you have to keep. Yeah. Well, I especially it's it's tough in both states. This is not an easy task. Uh, I think people like to joke about the term homeschooling like it's home hooky, but it is not. Mm -mm. Uh, you have to be able to show uh, that there's a, a still compulsory attendance. There's still an, a thousand hours per term of instruction that 600 of those hours are in those famous core subjects. You need to get your English and your social studies and your your science and your math and, and all of those things. And, and there's even a few extra requirements in Illinois as far as subject matter goes. Illinois doesn't do as much as far as requiring you to file reports on everything. Missouri does. But I, I think the big lesson everybody needs to know here is that this is not easy. And I think if your wife were on, she can let people know that you really are taking on a full time job as a as a teacher. There's no question about that. So if a parent came to you and said, can I just homeschool until the pandemic is over? Can I use this as a stopgap? How would you suggest they move forward? Well, they can do that. Uh, they would still go through this procedure of letting the state know that you're going to homeschool. But remember, uh, a free public education is a, is, a, is a right for all children. So if you decide that homeschooling is too challenging or if the virus passes enough to where you feel it's safe to send your kid back to school, you can opt back in. But just bear in mind that they may do some testing on your child to make sure that the grade that they're coming back to is the appropriate grade. Now, if you just miss a month or two, my guess is they'll just put them right back in their right. regular class. But if this goes on for a while and they say miss a whole year, before you put your kid back in school, they wanna make sure that your kid is actually ready for the next grade. And if they're not, they may hold your child back a year. And I think that makes perfect sense. That's exactly what they should be doing, in my opinion. All right, Ed, thank you so much. Right. We appreciate it. Enjoy the fresh air. Well, you know what? I think I will. Thank all right, you. you bet. If you want to get in touch with Brown and Crouppen, just pick up the phone. It's all twos, 314-222-2222. And their website is getbc.com.